All right. <clears throat> good morning. Good morning, guys. Good afternoon. Good evening. Whenever you find this. Sorry, guys. I was not planning to do this, but I was literally getting ready, <laughs> getting ready for work. But I still have a little bit of time. Okay, I have plenty of time because <laughs> um, I'm making breakfast and food for work. But after I dropped my kids, Spirit's been like downloading messages, so I came here to see what's going on. And I guess this is a warning for someone or someone needs to know this. Um, sorry, I'm like, I <laughs> wasn't prepared for this. I'm literally just, um, but it's not about me. Okay, it's about the message. So Spirit led me to uh, take out this deck, this message. So I feel like right now there's something that happened in the past that is trying to repeat itself. Okay. Or someone, it's a. It feels like a karmic um, situation because it says the karmic wheel here with a con artist. Okay, so this keep popping up. This energy, this person could be sick or having a disease. Okay, they are going through divine judgment and also they're fake as fuck. Okay, they're fake. Okay, so this is someone that could be an earth warrior. You're being warned about this. It says here. <clears throat> The first, I don't know, I was led to use this deck with the Holy Spirit that I created uh, two years ago. So I haven't even used this deck for a while. And it was like calling to me. So there's an earth warrior, earth angel, uh, star seed. Okay, you could have a public platform. You could be someone who's a healer. Um, uh, this is something that happened in the past. Okay, this is someone that you need to like cut off. Like it's not, you're not supposed to be with this person. Okay. I don't know what the situation is. You'll know because your intuition will tell you. And also you've been getting confirmation about this. But like I always say, go talk to God. Go confirm with him. He will let you know what uh, what this message is about if it's for you, okay? Always use your intuition and always use spiritual discernment, okay? But it feels like, again, this is someone that is being eclipsed out from your energy. Again, we're going to... There's a new moon coming up. There's an eclipse season coming up. There's also Mercury retrograde at the same time, okay? So go check out the astrology message. Also, there is a new podcast that it's being released. So everything you need to know will be in the description below, okay? Thank you guys so much for your like, your comments, your shares, your subscriptions, okay? So let's take get to it. It says, there is the earth warrior always wins against the devil. Keep fighting and don't lose hope, okay? So keep fighting this good fight. You're doing the right thing. Some of you are, I see you praying. I see you meditating. I see you taking care of yourself. And this is pissing someone off, okay? Some type of revenge. There's someone who acted out of impulse, okay? Again, this is something that they've done in the past, okay? Basically what they did, they collaborated with other people to create rituals to jeopardize your life, your love life, your finances, and your health, okay? This could be a bunch of people who are swingers, swinglers, or this is a swinger, non-committal person. I feel like this is something that they resent uh, towards you. Maybe you are a committal person. Maybe you're someone who's very reserved. Maybe you're not a whole, a player, just like they are, okay? Now, I feel like they feel some type of way or this could be also it doesn't necessarily this could be also someone who is detaching themselves who are recognizing they are the earth warrior and they know that whoever they were attached to collaborated to do this not only to you but to them as well so take it how it is and okay so this is someone who detached also from emotions stuck in 3d and karmic situations so that's what they did they chose that okay they chose to hold back which is interesting because it says hold back Okay, they could have said that you are a liar, okay, even though they were talking about themselves, okay? So in the past, I feel like they could have ghosted you, okay, or they could have run away or they could have thought that <clears throat> something was better and then they realized that whoever they chose who also was a karmic lesson as well, they chose that but now i feel like they are cold towards this person with the frozen energy here this person is frozen to like really cold towards this person not speaking stonewall not taking action okay this is something also they're doing towards you okay i feel like there's some things that they have done they they could have string you along okay it says string along or this is something that this person was dealing with with this karmic i feel like this is a karmic energy because with the tower here this is something that this person was trying so hard to avoid but it turned out that because they didn't heal from past um relationship or past things that they have happened to them in the past they attracted this type of energy right 
and I feel like this person didn't really realize that somebody was um, yeah so someone is very mad here they're trying to create some type of revenge right now but they're a con artist okay this is someone realizing this this could be you or this could be the person that you are attached to or someone around you okay someone's retaliating they're plotting playback okay uh, they want to punish you they want to get even so this could be a divine masculine or divine feminines like this is what this car makes your car makes your exes your it could be a family as well they're very jealous of your energy also some of you creative boundaries because with the ten of wands here this is a lot of burdens you're like stressed out on this is stressing some of you out as well to speak up and talk about this or or talk about someone that too there could be a fake pregnancy as well uh to try to trap someone here okay they could have played with this person's feelings so this is something that someone is healing right now okay and but also this karma gets stressed out because none of the plot that they have try to keep someone stuck okay with sex okay this is lust sex and stuff like that some of you is like this person is being guided by spirit to got, cut this off okay but someone is like afraid of conflict or they don't want to create drama and stuff like that but isn't it more dramatic to stay in a situation where it's so stressful and it's literally an illusion right so a lot of yeah there you go conflict see the seven of wands Seven of Wands talks about protection. Some of you, Divine Feminines or the star here, the healer, you're being protected by this. And also that too, some of you, your, your energy has been pulled away from this person, whoever is attached to this karmic, because this is their revenge here. This is someone doing stuff now, like they're working on this. They're collaborating with other people to jeopardize you, right? To jeopardize someone who there's a lost connection, lost opportunity, the door is closed. Yeah, some of you spirits trying to block this situation. Whoever is trying to jeopardize someone and trying to get revenge, like it, you're 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 a delusional, exactly. Illusion, keeping things inside, not opening up, deception. Yeah, someone's trying to deceive someone here. Yeah, they're mad because wow. Yeah, conflict, clashing, differences, incompatible, irreconcilable. Yeah, this is not going back. Like this person did too much. They did too much. See, spirit's trying to say, see, this is someone who is in a, still in a karmic partner situation. Some of you, you really need to create boundaries. Like this is, yeah, they're a cheater. They got caught. They're a cheater. A cheater will always be a cheater, okay? Protect yourself, your investment, relationship, health, mental, mentally, spiritually, physically, and financially, okay? From this karmic partner. See, it says again, protect your energy, cut the core, run. Some of you, you are in soul tie connections, so this person try to create a soul tie. Polygamy in reverse, fear of communication, and okay, so someone wants to communicate. You're cloaked and protected. Whoever's coming in, that you feel it in your intuition, like, I'm telling you, this is not a good energy, okay? Look, they're casting lust spells, or they've done that, it backfire. Return to send a tanta thousand ten times full so a lot of you this person is very lustful like that's all they do like they create soul ties and and bonds through sex like what the fuck so this could be a very it could be a karmic feminine okay like they think that people um to get people is through sex or stuff like that like this is why someone and that too this could be someone also projecting that towards you divine feminine as well or the earth warrior because you're not in this fucking shit that's why you're in the start here and that's why people want to take revenge because also some of you you could be exposing this type of energy with the sun card here yeah they're trying to jeopardize your work also they could be doing beauty spells or something like that because someone is like this person who is meant to be with you is attracted to you. But I don't know what I don't know what delusion this person is stuck to someone like this. Yeah, the death. Yeah, they're trying to jeopardize something. Your finances. See this emperor who could have finances. This could be someone. I don't understand. This is so weird. Why do a married person could be watching? A, this is so weird. Yeah, because they have financial uh, stability, but they're, like, they're having sleepless nights, trying to slow you down, depressed and sad. Like, I don't understand. This is so weird. All this of you, this feels like 
someone is going through a divorce. They're divorcing someone here who is a fucking hoe. But now it's like this person has to heal because now they think that everybody is like that. This is ridiculous. Yeah, some of you, you're being guided to walk away from this, this energy, let this go. The cycle is over. It's closed, okay? These people are stalking you, watching you. Some of you, you have to go someone here. Karmic situation. Karmic people, friends, exes, and stuff like that. You have to ghost and block them from all social media platforms and stuff like that. With the stars here, this is it. This is stressing people out. Like, they can suck on your energy. Like, they can. Some of you, they've been doing stuff sexually, you know, to try to, like, create soul ties. But, like... Wow, people are so wicked. This is too early for this. Like, look, five of swords trying to self sabotage. They want to win at all costs. Some of you, you're in competition with people that you don't even fucking know. But look, they're trying to jeopardize this person. There's someone coming towards you. An earth angel, or someone wants to go toward this earth angel. Yeah, look. There's so much conflict. You guys are counterparts. By the way, you're very intuitive. So right now, you are you need to stay in that energy. Listen to your intuition only. Cleanse your space. Pray all the time. Okay? You're very intuitive and very empathetic. Look, there's so much conflict. Someone that, that this could be this, this masculine or this feminine divine people who left whoever this person who created conflict and toxic magic they're heartbroken because you guys are going to have this new beginning and you're going to collaborate together this person is still creating illusion i can't make this up look this is their plan during this new moon and eclipse spell work witchcraft to keep you guys separated but it's backfiring as we speak that's why i've been guided to do this this is the energy this is a warning for someone you do this you're fucked you need to heal there's a karmic, whoever you are, you need to heal. This is ridiculous. Why would you try? And this is something that they have done in the past. They're trying to keep, again, a past life. God is trying to give you another chance to stop this fuckery. You didn't survive this, this stuff that you did and try to uh, create this situation towards these people because you're jealous and envious and hateful. This person closed that cycle. They were guided by God to close the cycle with you. You fucking psycho bitch. And I don't like saying that in the morning, but you guys, you're crazy. This person is obsessed, okay? Stalking. Some of you, this could be a, a friend, an ex friend of yours that you blocked. Okay? They're collaborating with other people. Like, they don't want to see you happy. They don't want you to have, like, I'm telling you, rituals to jeopardize your life, love, finances, and your health. Please protect yourself. And when God tells you to block people, please do, no matter what happens. Look, they're going through karma. And they're angry, so angry. There's someone's mad here. Look, because they're a liar, a cheater, and a con artist. The Seven of Swords. They could have stole something. Look, they're planning to steal something financially or something like that. So some of you, like, change your passwords for your bank account or something like that. Like, check contracts like this person is on it like with seven of cups here this is creating illusions the six of pentacles this is spell work this is paid this is uh trying to create some type of illusion so someone reciprocate to them because this person no longer wants to the, the the spell work that they used to do on this person it doesn't work anymore this person is healing and because they're healing, because they're back in their purpose because they're choosing themselves because they're choosing their divine feminine or masculine the spell is broken. Now this is someone trying to find another way how this is going to work. Yeah, look. There could be why the tower reader told them this. Some of you, you're getting good news. Some of you, you're getting a pay raise or an increase or something financially. Yeah, because you separated from this karmic who you left out in the cold where you're supposed to. This is going to make this karmic, whoever is watching, very pissed off. Yeah, they're in spiritual jail. Someone's stuck. Yeah. Because they wanted to party too much. Yeah, stuck. Some of you, you're awakened about this. About this person trying to block this connection towards you. This is so ridiculous. What else, spirit? I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, do your spiritual bath, okay? This person is doing sex magic on you. Masculine, feminine. If you have someone, a karmic, that all they, like, all they can do is sex, okay? 
look at this was this is this came up in the like on top of the judgment and the five of swords and the seven of swords making you jealous with someone else karma so this could be a toxic karmic masculine like that's that's why the connection is lost that's why we got that that's why karmic wheel lost connection lost opportunity closed or moving on yeah now they're stuck with this karmic this karmic is doing spell work on them now this person can't stop thinking about you whatever that's for all this of you yeah but they're a cheater so fuck that dream manipulation jesus some of you it's like you're you already cut the cord with whoever this karmic situation is okay this person is too much they're too obsessed okay this is not good pretending to have feelings for you karma wow so this is a karma they try to make they try to make this uh divine masculine they try to string him along, okay? Got pregnant with someone else, right? Playing with someone's feeling came up twice in two different decks, okay? This karma twice here. This person is an illusionist, creating spiritual warfare. This is the spiritual warfare that this divine connection is going through. Some of you, this is it. This is, uh, I mean, for some of you, this is like, you. this is none of my business, right? Like, you don't care what this karma is, but I feel like it's a warning for you both. Divine mass and divine feminine. This person is going through some serious karma. You guys did the right thing. You called judgment on this. This is too much. This is something that happened from the past. All this of you, whoever didn't pass this test, whoever stays in this karmic connection, they are going to stay there. And whoever passing this test, which you're supposed to cut this fucking karmic off because that's what they're planning to do, Okay. And continue moving forward. You're going to be protected with your person. All this of you, someone's very pissed off and mad because they chose to stay in the 3D in a karmic situation while you guys are, you know, healing and cleansing yourself. You're already aware of this. This is the spiritual warfare. This is the illusion that these people are trying to create, okay? This person pretended to have feelings for you and then trying to make you jealous with someone. This is so ridiculous. And then they collaborated with other people to jeopardize you. Again, sons and, and daughters of the devil. And you are very, very happy. Exactly. Thank you, spirit. Yeah. They chose sex. And that's the truth. Truth and clarity is coming out. A lot of you, you chose yourself. You chose love. And you chose to not deal with the situation. You cut this off. Some of you, you decided to be single self-sufficient and have that emotional stability you know with someone else some of you you're getting into a new connection here all this of you is that two counterparts that person had to deal with like that's what it is there's a karmic trying to get revenge because this person is coming towards you they see you as uh, single self-sufficient some of you you guys are celibate yeah you're the empress in spirit and your angels are protecting you divine feminines here very nurturing, very loving, very creative, an awakened person. And that's what you're choosing to do. Stay in your hermit mode, connecting to God, doing, going within. Some of you, this, uh, yeah, you're, you're, you're aware of this, that someone betray you. This is why this is over. There's no, nothing here. Someone trying to derail you from your divine path. So this is a warning for a feminine here. I mean, you're already like, I feel like this is a warning for the karmics though. Like stop what you're doing. You're gonna regret it. You're gonna be sad and, and like, look, some of you, this could be, uh, this is an ex. This feels like an ex of a twin flame or your high level soulmate connection. They're mad because you're single, beautiful, all the beauty spells that they're doing, all the sex magic that they're doing. It's not working. This person is still going towards you. This person admire, admire you. They're inspired. And I know someone's working on my throat right now. Like, you guys are pathetic. But a message is going to come out. It's still going to come to light. You're the happy place. You're literally irritating a lot of people's demons. Continue doing what you're doing. Okay? This person is going to communicate with you. Okay? 
some of you, they're going to confirm some stuff that you're already feeling or that you already know. They're going to tell you that, yes, they know also. You guys are very connected and you're having that telepathic communication in the 5D. And you're already, this is just a confirmation to let you guys know. And God is fighting all of it. And Archangel Gabriel here. Archangel Gabriel protecting your heart and your throat chakra. I can't make this up. I love you guys. I hope this is helpful. Make sure you like, comment, share, and subscribe. And um, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.